Hello everyone, Akshay here. Uh, today we'll see a short video uh, of the tutorial for uh, having introduction of the graphical user interface provided by the Unity Pro Excel. In order to see uh, the graphical user interface, we should create uh, a project. So let's go ahead and create a project. Go into the file, new project. This will prompt us to select a processor. A PLC. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll select a Modicon M340 uh, and say OK. So the Unity Pro Excel will create a project around this processor. It will list down the modules which are compatible with the processor. This takes a short while. Okay. This is the first look we'll get after creating the project as we have not named the project uh, we can see it here there is no name uh, this is a menu bar this is a toolbar this is a project browser project browser lists all the elements uh, which we used in a project uh, like the hardware configuration the derived data types uh, we'll see in the next video what are the derived data types what are the derived function block types uh, then the variables variables uh, that we use in our creating our project like a start button, stop button, some relays, then communications are the networks uh, we use to communicate our PC uh, with the processor, the PLC processor. Uh, program is the section where we write the program. Uh, we write the program in the task and must. This is an acronym used for the master task, we write the program in masters section and create a new section. And SR section is nothing but a subroutine program uh, which we can call from the, our main program, the master program, which we create in a section. Uh, then we have the animation table to, st to simulate our project and the operator scheme. Uh, uh, when we manipulate certain elements of the project, like we go into the changing the hardware configuration, we open a window called as the editor window. This is the editor window. Uh, uh, you can see after I opened uh, the editor window for the configuration of the hardware, uh, uh, it has opened an additional window, which is hardware catalog. You can go ahead and close this. And if you want it again, you can go into the tool and the hardware catalog is here. Again, the window will open up. Uh, the hardware catalog has listed all the modules which are compatible with this processor. Uh, you can see this thing. Uh, if I want to add an input module, uh, suppose I add 1604, just pick it and drop it in here. That's how you easily add the module in here. So this is just to give you an overview of the graphical user interface. There might be time when you might accidentally close the project browser, clicking in here. So guys, this is nothing but it hasn't closed our project. It had just uh, retracted back. You can open it back from going to tools and project browser. So here it's come again. And if you want to change the project browser view, uh, you can change it from the function view, but it will be dealing with the view of structure. This is quite good. I prefer this thing uh, uh, here. Uh, then we have a reference tab. Uh, if suppose we open uh, some program and let's name it motor and we'll get some reference tab. These are the tabs which, uh, which will allow us to switch between the editor windows. Uh, this is our hardware uh, configuration window editor window and this is our program editor window so you can switch it by using this tab and this this is the information window all the errors the uh, the communication everything will be listed in here and this will give you the status of what's going on in the program uh, and this is the status bar status bar gives you the operation mode this is this one so that's what is all about the graphical user interface. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next upcoming videos.